श्री सच्चिदानंद सदगुरु साईनाथ महाराज की जय सदगुरु भरद्वाज महाराज की जय श्री साई सच्चरित्र चैप्टर थर्टी ड्रॉन टू शिरडी काकाजी वैद्या ऑफ वैनी रामलाल पंजाबी ऑफ मुंबई इन दिस चैप्टर द स्टोरी ऑफ टू मोर डिवोटीज हु आर ड्रॉन टू शिरडी इज नैरेटेड प्रिलिमिनरी बाउ टू द काइंड साई who is the abode of mercy and who is affectionate towards his devotees by his mere darshan he does away with their fear of worldly illusions and destroys their calamities he was first nirgun but on account of the devotion of his bhaktas he was obliged to take a form to give liberation self realization to the bhaktas is the mission of the saints and for sai the chief of them that mission is inevitable those who take refuge in his feet have all their sins destroyed and their progress is certain remembering his feet brahmins from holy places come to him and read scriptures and chant the gayatri mantra in his presence we who are weak without any merits do not know what bhakti is but we know this much that though all other may leave us sai won't forsake us those whom he favors get an enormous strength discrimination between the unreal and the real and knowledge sai knows fully fully the desire of his devotees and fulfills the same hence they get what they want and are grateful so we invoke him and prostrate ourselves before him forgetting all our faults let him free us uh, from all anxieties he who being overcome with calamities remembers and prays to sai thus will get this mind calmed and pacified through his grace this sai the ocean of mercy says hematmant favored him and the result of this is the present work sai sacharitra otherwise what qualification had we had he to undertake this enterprise but as sai took all the responsibility hematmant felt no burden nor any care about this when the powerful light of knowledge was there to inspire his speech and pen why should he entertain any doubt or feel any anxiety sai got the service in the form of this book done by him this is due to the accumulation of his merits in the past births and therefore he thinks himself fortunate and blessed the following story is not a mere tale but a pure nectar he who drinks it will realize sai's greatness and all pervasiveness those who want to argue and criticize should not go in for this what is wanted here is not discussion but unlimited love and devotion land devote and faithful believers are those who consider themselves as servants of the saints will like and appreciate these stories others will take them to be fables the fortunate bhaktas of sai will find the sai leelas as the kalpataru drinking in or devouring this nectar of sai leelas will give liberation to the ignorant jivas satisfaction to the householders and a sadhana to the aspirants now we come to the story of this chapter kaka ji vaidya there lived in vani nasik district a man named kaka ji vaidya he was the priest of the goddess saptasringi there he was so overpowered by adverse circumstances and calamities that he lost peace of mind and become quite restless under such circumstances 
one evening he went into the temple of uh, the goddess and prayed unto her from the bottom of his heart and invoked her aid to free him from anxiety the goddess was pleased with his devotion and the same night appeared to him in his dream and said to him you go to baba and then your mind will become calm and composed kakaji was anxious to know from her who this baba was but before he could get any explanation he was awakened then he began to think as to who might be this baba to whom the god goddess had asked him to go after some thinking he resolved that this baba might be trimbakeshwar lord shiva so he went to the holy place trimbak and stayed there for 10 days during this period he bathed early in the morning chanted the rudra hymns did the abhishek and did other religious rites but with all these he was as restless as before then he returned to his place and again invoked the goddess most pitifully most pitifully that night she again appeared in his dream and said why did you go to trimbakeshwar in vani why did you go to trimbakeshwar in vain i mean by baba shri sai samard of shirdi the question before kakaji now was how and when to go to shirdi and how to see baba if anybody is in real earnest to see a saint not only the saint but god also fulfills his wish in fact the saint or saint and the anand or god are one and the same there is not the least difference between them if anybody thinks that he will go on his own wish and see a saint that will be a mere boast unless the saints will sit no one is able to go and see him even the leaf of the tree won't move without his bidding the more anxious of bhakta is for the visit to the saint the more devout and faithful he is the more speedily and effectively is his wish satisfied to his heart's content he who invites anybody for a visit also arranges everything for his reception and so it happened with kakaji shamas vows when kakaji was thinking about this intended visit to shirdi a guest came to him at his place to take him to shirdi he was no other than shama a very close and intimate devotee of baba how he came to vani at this juncture we shall just see shama was severely ill when he was very young and his mother had taken a vow to her family goddess saptashringi at vani that if her son got if her son got well she would bring and dedicate him at her feet then after some years a mother herself suffered much from ring worms on her breast yet that time she again took another vow to her deity that if she got all right she would offer her two silver breasts these two vows remained unfulfilled yet her death bed she called her son shama and draw his attention to the vows and after taking a promise from him that he would fulfill them she breathed her last after some time shama forget about these vows and thus 30 years elapsed about this time a famous astrologer had came to shirdi and stayed there for a month his predictions in this in the case of uh, shriman bhuti and others came true and everybody was satisfied shama singer brother bapa ji consulted him and was told about this mother's vows which his elder brother had promised to fulfill at her deathbed or not at fulfilled hence the goddess was displeased with them and that was bringing troubles on them 
Bapaji told this to his uh, brother Shama, who was then reminded of the unfulfilled vows. On thinking that any further delay would be dangerous, he called a goldsmith and, a go and got a pair of silver breast prepared. Then he went to the masjid, prostrated himself before Baba and placing before him the two silver breasts, requested him to accept them and free him from the oaths as to him. He was uh, his Saptashringi goddess. Then Baba insisted upon him to go himself to the temple of Saptashringi and offer them at the feet of the goddess. Thus, after taking Baba's permission and Udi, he left for Vani and while searching for the priest, reached Kakaji's house. Kakaji was then very anxious to visit Baba and Sama went there to see him at that very time. That, wa that uh, What a wonderful coincidence was this. Kakaji asked him who he was and whence did he came. And on learning that he came from Shirdi, he at once embraced him. So overwhelmed was he with love. Then they talked about Sai Lilas and after finishing the rites of uh, Shama's vows, they both started for Shirdi. On reaching the place, Kakaji went to the masjid and fell at Baba's feet. His eyes were soon bedewed with tears and his mind attained calmness. According to the vision of the goddess, no sooner did he see Baba than his mind lost all its restlessness and became calm and composed. Kakaji began to think in his mind, what a wonderful power is this? Baba spoke nothing. There was no question and answer, no benedic benediction pronounced. The mere darshan itself was so conduct conducive to happiness. The restlessness of my mind disappeared by his mere darshan. Consciousness of joy came upon me. This is what is called the greatness of darshan. His vision was fixed on Sai's feet and he could utter no word. Hearing Baba's Leelas, his joy knew no bounds. He surrendered himself completely to Baba, forgot his anxiety and cares and got undiluted happiness. He lived happily there for 12 days and after taking Baba's leave, Udi and blessings returned home. Kushal Chand of Rahata it is said that a dream which we get in the wee hours of the morning generally comes out true in the waking state. This may be so, but regarding Baba's dreams, there is no restriction of time. To quote an instance, Baba told Kaka Sahib Dikshit one morning to go to Rahata and fetch Kaka, uh, Kushal Chen to Shirdi, as he had not seen him since long. Kaka Saheb accordingly took a tanga and went to Tahata. He met Kushal Chen and gave him Baba's message. On hearing it, Kushal Chen was surprised and said that while he was waking, while he was taking a noon nap after meals, Baba appeared in his dream and asked him to come to Shirdi immediately and that he was anxious to go. Yes, he had no horse of uh, his own nearby, he had sent his son to inform Baba. When his son was just out of uh, the village border, Dikshit Stranga turned up. Dikshit then said that he was sent specially to bring him. Then they both went in the Tanga back to Shirdi. Kushal Chand saw Baba and all were pleased. Seeing this Leela of Baba, Kushal Chand was much moved. Ram Lal Punjabi of Mumbai. Once a Punjabi Brahmin of Mumbai named Ram Lal got a dream in which Baba appeared and asked him to come to Shirdi. Baba appeared to him as a Mahant.
but he did not know his uh, whereabouts he thought that he should go and see him but as he did not have his address he did not know what to do but he who calls anybody to him also makes a necessary arrangement for the same the same happened in this case the same afternoon when he was strolling in the street he saw a picture of baba in a shop the features of the mahant he saw earlier in the dream tallied exactly with those of the picture then on making enquiries he came to know that the picture was of sai baba of shirdi he went soon after this to shirdi and stayed there till his death in this way baba brought his devotees to shirdi for darshan and satisfied their wants material as well as spiritual bow to sri sai peace be to all